Adventure tourism is among the fastest growing tourism disciplines in the world, but in Uganda, the sector has potential to attract a wide range of local and foreign tourists. So we need to come up with very professional, professional products, but also make sure that uh, the people who implement it also have the right skills to do so and can do, can do so safely. So capacity building is also very important. Incorporating adventure tourism with safari tourism is expected to boost the appreciation of the often neglected natural features. The best way to promote is by just showing it to people. Show how good the activities are and try to make uh, promotions, movies, uh, pictures and send them out into the world and to put Uganda on the map as an adventure tourism destination. Cycling tourism has so much potential in Uganda um, and it, it has business opportunities not only for cycling uh, companies but also for all the, the guest houses along that route. Stakeholders are challenged to be innovative in diversification of tourism products as there are many untapped natural potentials which are on research and targeted marketing. We haven't explored enough. It points to the fact uh, that we need to promote more of these attractions so that we diversify and we enrich the product portfolio so that people are able to stay longer, people are able to spend more and of course lie in your pockets a little more. The interaction of adventure tourism operators intends to provide solutions to the challenging environment for the development of the sector. And if we want to develop the sector we need to do it as a, as a network so today is also a good networking opportunity to see where the yeah, different tour operators and tour companies can uh, develop products together and trails together and uh, further uh, put Uganda on the map internationally. Yeah, tourism is a very interesting thing. It uh, has great connection between tourism, uh, tourists and the community interaction. So. And it's something that's so special that comes out of you, out of your mind. It should be adventure in the mind and adventure in the heart because of what you encounter in the field is not as easy, but it's so rewarding at some point. Limited awareness about adventure tourism and poor coordination are pointed out as major hindrances for the development of the tourism industry. Charlotte Amuge and Abdul Nasir Luwama for UBC News.